Wagwan, Wagwan. Welcome to my channel. I am the DIY Yardy. Welcome back if you've been here before. In this video, I'm working on a 2005 Toyota RAV4. And it's, it's got a P0776 code, which is saying transmission solenoid B shown in this diagram is stuck off. So what I did was I dropped the transmission pan and check solenoid B along with all the other solenoids which were all functioning as they're supposed to. So a transmission repair shop actually quoted a repair cost of almost $4,000 for this for the repairs on this car. But this is what I found. This is the computer for the car which is located behind the dashboard here. So I had already pulled the computer out. What I did was, after doing some research, checking all the solenoids, I found that all the solenoids were in, you know, functioning. Everything checked out. So my other step was, I was going to try this, uh, getting this computer rebuilt, because I saw after my research that a lot of these RAV4s, if you have the issue where the car between first and second it hesitates or it grabs or lags or a hard shift between first and second and also it shifts into reverse you know very hard shift into reverse then this likely could be your problem okay um, there are a lot of uh, sites online you can take your old computer send it in to them and and they'll do the repair I've actually um, seen uh, videos where you can actually do the repair on the I think up on I saw I think I saw a video up until the 2003 RAV4 I don't remember seeing any after but I think the 2003 there is a video that shows you how you go about repairing the computer and basically it's resoldering you know some some joints you know connections in the computer you know if, if you're you know able to do that you know um, you know that's something you could consider doing for yourself but this um this is the reinstall after I've sent the computer out for the repair so I'm, I'm pretty much reinstalling it in the vehicle right now and it's only two 10 millimeter bolts that really hold this computer in two 10 millimeter um, nuts uh, some a couple of brackets to the computer and um, the brackets are held on to the computer by two uh, Phillips screwdriver each okay so this right here is the power line or the power supply line all the connections to the computer that plugs up to a little um, bracket at the bottom of the computer and I'm getting it reinstalled so all these connections I'm going to reconnect them after I'm through um, tightening the two 10 millimeter bolts okay so like I said I, I take this computer took it out from the car sent it out um, to this company that do, does the repairs they repair it and ship it back to you you know it takes a can take an average of about maybe 10 10 days to two weeks on average okay also what you can do is you can go ahead some companies you can actually purchase the computer from them you know and um, you send your old one back as a core charge what that means is they charge you maybe an extra hundred and fifty dollars in addition to what they charge for their computer which on the average is anywhere between their their computer will be on the average of uh, 100 150 to 300 maybe 400 dollars depending on the site you go to okay so let's say they're selling their computer for 250 
they'll charge you a, an extra 150 um, cord charge. Okay. So you see I'm reconnecting the battery here and that is something you have to do when you're working with the computer, you know, on this car. You want to disconnect the battery before you do anything. Okay, and once you got everything reconnected, then you reconnect the battery. Alright. So getting my uh, battery cover back in place and I'm gonna crank it up. See what she does. Okay, so this is the first startup after the computer has been reconnected, reinstalled. Starts up fine, looks good. So the next step from this point is you want to take it for a test drive. And this is really a relearn for the computer. So the computer has to learn how to shift, you know, go through the shifting process. So on this test drive, which you should at least be 20 minutes at um, stop and go traffic, not highway speeds, but you know, around the neighborhood for at least 20 minutes. And you know, you want to keep it in the range of 25 miles per hour. But you want to stop, you know, start and stop, you know, maybe every five minutes or so, stop, you know, go over to the side. Know, let, it, let it stop, come to a complete stop, and pull off again, you know, every five minutes and work through the gears, okay? You have to do that for at least 20 minutes so this computer can relearn the shifting process, okay? Not harsh, you can't do harsh accelerations. Just try to stay at most 25 miles, don't go much above that, and just go through that process. And th that actually solved the issue with this vehicle. Before, every time you stopped and, and pulled off, it would be a hesitation between first and second. I mean, a, a really hard, it almost feel like you're putting on the brake and trying to give it gas at the same time. You know, so this, this fix right here took care of that problem car is shifting beautifully you know for the first I would say for the first 10 minutes the you could tell that there was an improvement in the shifting but it wasn't you know as smooth as it should be but you know as I as I drove you know for the next 10 minutes or so you could really tell the improvement it was like back to normal you know the back to normal shifting all right but just remember 20 minutes at average average speed at 25 miles per hour let it work through the gears all right no highway speeds no no racing off the engine just you know kind of like babying it you know and um, back to what I was saying about the um, if you the core the core charge which if you choose to go that route it's like the core charge is, would be an additional $150, which if you're buying the computer from them, you can pay for the computer and the core charge at one time. Then once you get the computer and you send your old computer to them, then they'll um, refund you that 150 core charge. All right, so there are a lot of sites online that do, does this. And, you know, I, I noticed that RAV4, I can't give you like a particular between what he hears, but this is a 05, I've known a 03 to have this issue, so this is something, you know, specific to RAV4, where the um, computer, basically, it's not a short, but um, some of the uh, electrical components, uh, the, the soldering, they kind of break loose, you know, so they don't have like a good connection on the computer board. And some sometimes I've heard of where you know some of the parts actually get damaged and have to be replaced. Okay, but you can depending on what year or raft where you have, you can try to find the um, 
repair videos, see if you can do it yourself or not. Just go online and do this, all right? So this is DIY Yardy. I hope this video was helpful. And please consider subscribing to my channel. Give a thumbs up. Bless up.